So there's just a whole cove for looking at a turtle. Yeah. All right. The turtle view place. How does Tip Top feel about that? Uh. Ooh. All right. That was a dumb thing I did. And it's showing off the splash damage. Yeah. This is funky feeling. Yeah, I uh, probably could have turned off the reticle before deciding to swim. Oh. Gotta get, oh, this is, this one's just got eggs. Well, but, you uh, need some grenades. Eh, screw them. I'm out of here. So this is, it's important to go get Royston before you come here because otherwise you're stuck with much slower swimming. Look at that octopus! Yeah. Oh. We took care of him. Frozen. Jesus, alright. He's just having a fun time. Yeah. The fun allowed here though. This is a pretty little underwater area. Yeah. I really like Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And like the first half of the level feels like if there were any jiggies up there other than like the one we got, it feels like it could be a Banjo Kazooie stage and how like tight and condensed it is. Yeah. And then there's this. Yeah. The actual bulk of the level. This gives me Zelda vibes. It's very dark in here, and I can't imagine if I hadn't fixed the lighting. Yeah. That would've... That would've been unfortunate. Yeah. Man, this place is just big. Yep, it is it a really, big world. It really got way bigger out of nowhere. Oh, there's a man over there. Oh, hello. I hope that's not a ninja. Hopefully not. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no. Hit it. There you go. Jinjo. Our first brown Jinjo? Brown orangish? Yeah, I think that's brown. I think orange is like more of a uh, orange highlighter. Alright. I'll trust you. You're the expert. Bottom. Oh, right! Don't let me forget, we need to go enter our cheat code we got last time. Oh! I don't remember what that code was, but yeah, I'll re remind you. If I remember. It was either feathers or eggs. I don't remember which one's first in this game. I think it was... E eggs? I don't know. That's a big fish. Yeah. Shoot it. Oh, we are. Hope he's oh, got a good dental teeth. plan. Dental plan. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to Fish get that out of my braces. system. You keep blowing yourself up. Yeah, I should probably you... stop. Because I'm going to die. <laughs> you really need to preserve yourself a little bit. Self-preservation is not an instinct that bears have. I think it is. Oh. Right, Bears gotta... practice more self-care than humans. Oh. Bears are good. They hibernate. I wish I could hibernate. Same. I gotta... uh, stop. Stop swimming. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta get in. I'm in. Okay. <laughs> it's the four part. Oh, Jesus. There's always gotta be one, doesn't there? Yeah. It's just like Chappy Chappy's belly. Or, or the, Clanker. Yeah, Clanker. It's or like if Clanker was fleshy instead of fucked up and part fleshy. I hope we see Clanker again. So look at how like detailed the walls are and everything. Like They put work yep. into this horrible veiny structure. Too much work, you could say. Yeah, it's not the most pleasant place. But look. Look who it is. It's Jolly's partner. Okay. Yeah, 
Mary Maggie. Blubber's Wave Racers. Yeah, remember? He had a wave racing business that oh, was right. completely failing, so we gave him some doubloons for his final possession, a pair of shoes. Right, right. And then he went and gambled. There she goes. There she go. <laughs> this is a very long shot. Yeah, you gotta you gotta establish that she made it out. They should have changed like changed camera to like this room so you could really see as she gets away. <laughs> Pan out of the fish as she swims out. Yeah. <laughs> the show we're going to see Jolly. The tearful reunion. They should have like a little just a little like fucking selfie cam of Banjo Kazooie in the bottom right. Yeah. Sitting there. Well, I'm glad we found Maggie. Yeah, she uh, she was in a bad way. She could have been digested. Yeah, and she didn't... I don't know if she really needed our help, because she kind of... Well, I guess she couldn't have made it past those teeth. Yeah, we had to break the teeth. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Also, these octopi, octopuses, octopodes are kind of annoying. Because, like, there's a lot of them. Yeah, they're the new... Uh... Chompy fellas coming out of the holes to get you. Yeah. For this level, at least. Look at all oh, these developer it... names. These are the Davy Jones's lockers. Yeah, like, there's, here's Greg Mails. That's a name I recognize. Where's the Grant Kirkhope one? Uh, let me see if there is one. Malpo. I don't know if there is a uh, Grant Kirkhope. And Wilson, D. Jones, whoever that is. Oh, wait, is that. Can you break that one open? Yes. Oh. You See, I'm learning the, the. puzzle. Yeah, I'm learning the language the game speaks in. Yeah. We're not gonna go in it, though. Oh, okay. We could, but. I wanna go in it later. Okay. So we don't have a Kirkhope one. Yeah, there's, Kirkhope does not get a locker at Rare Rare. I, I guess his career kept going afterwards, so... Can't go down there. Bears can't handle that much pressure. Jeez. That's like a watch. Do we have to get an upgrade? Uh, who knows. Huh? <laughs> Atlantis? Yeah. Oh, that's what this was. Okay. This is Atlantis. Yeah, it's Atlantis. Remember? Atlantis? I re yeah, I do remember Atlantis a little bit. Like it was yesterday. Oh, but we were here today. Or do you mean the Atlantis? Or the movie Atlantis? Don't worry about it. Classic Disney film, Atlantis. <laughs> oh yeah, that was one of those. Yeah. Have we been in here? That Did was people Disney, like right? that one? I think uh, so. Yeah, a lot of people like it. Is this, yeah, this is just the seaweed sanctum again? Okay. It's a little bit confusing in here. A lot of the places look kind of similar. It's like a big dungeon. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to need you to help me remember. Um. Oh, man. Well, sure. I guess. It's like a pi, sigma, omega, sigma, and then two triangles. Oh, oh god, I'm not remembering this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. Can you recite it? Uh, it's like a pi, sigma, omega, sigma, and then a couple of triangles. Okay, good. Oh, well, oh, they're all right here anyway. Yeah. It's alright. Did it make a chime for that? Um, I can't hear. Go, go back to the first one again that okay. you were at. Go back to the first one. Okay. Yeah. One, one in there. It's one. 
in Yeah, one. I couldn't tell if I was aiming it right. There you go, chime. We're gonna work together on this one, don't worry. Chime. Uh, uh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Alright, you got it. Chime. You have a good memory for this. Chime. I don't have a good enough memory, because I had to check. Chime. <laughs> and see Chime. what it said, instead of just remembering, Oh yeah, I know the password to that room. <laughs> if this was Banjo-Kazooie, I would probably know the password to that room by heart. That's fair. I believe you. I have not played Tui as much as Kazooie. It's a bigger game, it's harder. But yeah. It's the temple of the fishes. Oh, there's no fish in here. Well, it's the temple of the fishes, though. This part, I think they I'm not a big fan of. Oh. I just want regular egg. Getting these eggs seems a bit annoying. Yeah, okay. Oh! It, Here's a very patriotic man. Is that the pig's dad? He's Maybe. Chris. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Chris P. Bacon. Oh. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's related to the kids or if it's just, yeah, we just decided to put a bunch of pigs at this level. He also has a Game Boy camera. Oh, that, oh, that's cute. Yeah. I, I really like that he has a purple Game Boy Color with the Game Boy camera in it. <laughs> Check out these pictures and then just like slowly. <laughs> He's got the Game Boy printer as well. Yeah. <laughs> Prints out shitty black and white like 160 by 160. Alright, so this part isn't the best. I find the easiest way to protect this man is to get up a, above him. Alright, so we're doing some tower defense here. Oh no, not this song. Okay, no, it's just a remix. Hmm. I thought Chompers was back because the first few notes are... Those repeating notes in the background are, I'm pretty sure, from his theme. Is that his name, Chomper? Yeah, uh, Snacker. Snacker, okay. Oh, I forgot I had homing eggs. That makes this a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Because this, like, goes on for a while, and there's a bunch, and you gotta keep spinning. And it's really easy, like, towards the end to miss one. Because it's like, oh, it just came up behind you and you didn't notice. Oops. Yeah, homing is very nice. Yeah, homing made it so that I could clear this on my first try instead of like my third, like I normally do. Jeez. Yeah, if one, even one of them gets to him, he gets bit and goes back up and he's like, man, you let me get bit, that hurt. Oh, only one. Yeah. You have to be good at fish killing. That is pretty harsh. I mean... They're piranha. I wouldn't want to get even one bite from them. Yeah. He probably is. Since he said printed rather than developed, he probably is actually going to use a uh, Game Boy printer <laughs> for it. <laughs> I hope that Game Boy camera is waterproof. Uh, it wasn't. I don't know. We've been in this one yet? I don't think so. It's the electric eels lair. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's living up to its name more than the fish temple. There are a bunch of fish in there, it just took a second for them to show up. We just had to start the sequence. It was one kind of fish. It was Temple of Fish Is. 
Yeah, but there were a bunch of it. There was still a uh, a plural number of fish. <laughs> I guess you're you're not wrong, but we got the uh, the torpedo. Nice. So can you use that underwater? Yes, it's an underwater ability for Kazooie and Banjo. Both Mostly Kazooie, but there, it's a both of them move. Alright. A torpedo nice by song. itself is no use. You need a silo. Yeah. Good analogy. Um, so I assume that there's no like split pad underwater stuff in this game? There isn't. Okay. Okay. But that's pretty cool. This is the button you press. I didn't read any of his explanations, so I was like trying buttons on the controller there. How do I make Kazooie go fast? <laughs> yeah, that's really cool though. That's like a cool way to do the split up underwater. Yeah, it's like splitting up underwater. It's just on a timer. And so Kazooie that's... is fast and powerful. <laughs> fast and strong. Which I guess Kazooie already is because Kazooie is the best. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a Minjo. You can tell because it's white, and there's only one white Jinjo, which we already got. Oh, yeah. So there's split up pads here, but if they want you to use an ability we don't actually have yet. Okay. Guess we can ignore that. Yeah, we can ignore this whole place. I just wanted to open it up because we got the oh. thing. It's a page. Yep. We, that's what we're going to use those split up pads for later on. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, look forward to it, friends. <laughs> Tune in next time. No, it won't be next time. It'll be quite a while before we get that page. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well. <laughs> that single piece of damp paper. So, Kazooie... Turbo Kazooie, Torpedo Kazooie. It can also just like grab things out of these lucky fishies. Oh. Which is not what they're called, but <laughs> that's what I called it. That thank you. It's yeah. pretty good. Let's go to uh let's go see Wamba. It's half submerged. Yeah, quick. her home is flooded. Oh wait, it, we can't yeah, see Yeah, No, it literally is. Okay. Hang on. I forgot. We don't have the the globo yet. Uh-oh. Where the hell is the glue? It's always near. Yep, there it is. The Globo is always close to... Humba and... Mumbo. That... is on a very precarious, uh, like... piece of land, too. Yeah. Is she not gonna talk about? Nah, she's, up. she's used to it. <laughs> she's used to living in her flooded home. Jump in. <laughs> it's flooded out of necessity because we have an underwater transformation. Okay. Oh, this is cool. I like how mechanical so many of these are. Yeah. Sonic ping attack. There's a lot of buttons here. Yep. Oh my god. And we can use our subaquatic aiming for the torpedoes as well. Hey, nice. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you're blowing it to shit. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> oh no. I like the uh, submarine. It's fun. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Can you get hurt while you are this transformation? Yeah. Okay, so it's not like we the cannot teleport to the town center as a submarine. Submarines don't work too well on land. Why is it Pono and not like the like Jolly? Like Jolly, yeah, yeah it's the mayor. Wait, what? Jolly's the mayor. Is he? Isn't. He? He said he didn't. He say he was the mayor. Maybe I don't know. I don't pay any attention. 
we we have uh, the it's ability like to go down it. where there's a whole bunch of pressure now. Oh, that makes sense. I hope you like getting kind of motion sick. Is this gonna be like the piss hell again? Yes. Uh oh. Welcome to piss world. Look. Now it's water world. Welcome to water world, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is you can slower, just at least. Shoot as much as you want, can't you? Yes. Infinite ammo. Got I the barrel ending. You don't need a bot or precision. No. I mean, there's a little bit of precision because you can't, like, rapid fire. You know? <laughs> you can shoot pretty fast. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> yep. Good job. For some reason, the achievement is easier to get than the, uh... The Jiggy? Because wasn't the Jiggy 60? Yeah. Uh... This, this one looks much more fun than the flying... Uh, the flying challenge. Yeah. Take this, brightly colored shrapnels. Uh, that, that's the name oh, of the mine. You have so many points. Yeah. Get 90, get 90. Oh. Now we got the prize. That's what matters. I do like how Gruntilda follows her word. Yeah. If there's one thing Gruntilda loves, it's games. Yeah, and she just set up this little game down where nobody can go. Yeah. Like, remember Grunty's Fur is Fun? She just set that up and it was like, yeah, I'll just give you duty if you win at my game show. Yeah? Look, there's a thing in there, but we can't oh, do it because we don't, we, yeah, we can't do it. We don't have kazoo. Shoot, shoot. So now, we could have it's gone in here earlier, but we're going to go in here like this. This okay, is Okay, that makes sense. This is a boss fight that you can fight as bird and bear or as a submarine. That's cool. Yeah. And we'll show the banjo version of it later because there is a reason to do, like, there's a boss rush in this game and I'm going to have a video of it. Oh, uh, okay. It's like a, a thing on the main menu, not like a thing you do to get jiggies or anything. But it is related to Stop and Swap 2. Oh, Jesus. I should have known. That's pretty harsh, but it's not wrong. I don't think we were planning to drain his home. We just wanted the jiggy. Alright, so Lord Wu Fak Fak is here. Hello. And this would he's be got terrifying shiny... as a child. Yeah. He's got shiny boils that bleed. He's bleeding. Yeah. So Wu Fak Fak's name has an origin in Rare Rare. Uh huh. There was a oh, programmer, I'm not sure who it was. But there was a programmer who when he would have trouble like figuring out why a bug was a bug, he could be here heard going fack fack. <laughs> Jeez. So this guy's got fack. six. Yeah, this guy's got six boils. They glow up one at oh no. They they glow one at a time, and you gotta bust them up. All right, let me hit you with a curveball. Glowing boils that you have to hit in sequence reminds me of Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The bio is spinning. Yeah. Yeah, you spin around if you get hit. I finally remembered another video game. Yeah. It seems like something that a Dark Souls boss would have, but I don't think there is a Dark Souls boss with boils you attack. There are Dark Souls bosses you hit on, like, a belly. Yeah. This boss fight seems a little weird. Yeah. It's also kind of slow and sucks if you're trying to do the boss rush quickly. Kind of hard to hit that thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's honestly, like, 
submarine is nice because it has infinite ammo, but the uh, torpedoes move a little slowly. Okay. Would this be easier with homing? Yeah. On your egg? Yeah. But still, the boss rush only lets you do the uh, banjo version, so... Okay. Show off this. It's also very dark, but it makes sense because we're fighting an anglerfish. Yeah. Again, At the bottom of the ocean. I picked a good time to fix the darkness thing because it's very dark regardless of that being fixed. Yeah, you gotta move out of the atmospheric and into the convenient eventually. Come on. You, you'll get oil. it. Yeah. See, they yep. move very slowly. Okay, there you go. Also, this music is in Smash Brothers. Oh, that's cool. That's one of the songs they're like, that's a good ass song, let's put that in the game. It's one I'm of the ones they... that's not, like, remixed. Glad they put the fuck fishes theme into Smash Bros. Yeah. That... He, like, Jeez. fires energy bolts from his, uh, angler. Angle dangle. It doesn't do too much else. Nah. It's just kinda... Hover. Oh. There you go. You gotta get up close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he had his, insisted on having his eyes closed, but you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's bright. He's yeah. got a bright light above him. Okay, that's fair. There's a bright light right in front of his eyes. So now we just gotta shoot him in the eyes a bunch. Oh, jeez, you're actually going to blind him now? Yes. Maybe this is worse than draining his home. I thought you were about to, like, judge the quality of this boss fight. I was like, yeah, it's not a great one. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. We can go into that, too. What do you think of this boss fight? It's not a great one. Yeah. Oh, he has a new move, though. Oh, Bubble Beam. Yeah. We've got bubble beam and solar beam. Yeah. It's one of those new Galarian uh, Pokemon. Come on, I've hit him in the eye so many times. <laughs> I like that since I had launched so many torpedoes, they were in the cutscene <laughs> and it looked like yeah. they were intentionally meant to be there. One hundred years, huh? Eh, anglerfish might live that long. I don't know. DFC creatures are indistinguishable from elder chars, so I can believe it. Yeah. You are dying. Yeah. Not as bad as he is. I guess that is true. Yeah. He will probably die here now. Yeah. He's bleeding and blinded and belly up. Yep. Yeah. Shoot that thing. Oh, there's splash damage on those. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Hmm. That's okay, I was actually trying to warp. It was a speed run tech. Oh, a death warp, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that all you need your uh, transformation for? Uh, I believe that actually is all that you do in the stage with it, which is a shame, because it's really cool. This stage has a lot of like, weird decisions. Like, here's a thing that you use once, like Mumbo. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff that doesn't get used a ton. Yeah. Like, here's Mumbo, use him once. Here's your torpedo thing, you only have to use it once. Maybe they, Not like... torpedo thing, like the submarine. That's what yeah. it's called. Maybe they, like, designed this stage before they made the decision to have Mumbo and Humba in every stage. Maybe. So they kind of had to tack him in. Yeah. 
Because, like, you know, one of the things we did as the submarine was optional. Yeah, it was. I hate these guys. It, I, it's hitting the... Okay. Yeah, because you hit the, the limbs and it sucks. I wish you could just hit the limbs and still have it work. Yeah. So this always made me think of Donkey Kong 64. That's not a good sign. No, it's just because there was a sunken ship in it. Okay. That's literally it. What did you think of Donkey Kong 64 as a kid? Fucking loved it as a kid. Oh no. I mean, a lot of I mean, kids yeah, it, it would be a great game for a kid. And like, my whole family played that game on one save, which is the way to do it, honestly. Just have yeah, a whole just... bunch of people work together and play Switch Man. Yeah, that does sound like it would be pretty fun. Yeah, and we beat that game too. Like, I don't know if we got 100%, but we at least beat the final boss, because I remember that fight, and I remember it being the coolest shit. Mm hmm. So look where we are. Oh, hey. These ice eggs are getting some good use. Yeah. They use the ice eggs a lot in this game. And they use them in interesting ways, unlike the last game we played with ice eggs, where it was just like, oh, like it's, it's a, a key. key. Yeah. There's a Jinjo in here. Pink Glitter Gold Shrine. Oh. Oh, yeah, we are in Glitter Gulch. Yep. We're here at the, uh, the water reservoirs. And they're nice enough we to ever... put that there so we can get back out. Did, did we ever go back and save that mole from prison? Mole? The, what? You mean Canary The Mary? prospector's friend. Oh, yeah. that. Um, yeah. no. Alright, well. We will. <laughs> He's been waiting for a bit. I guess he can wait a little longer. I think it's a girl because its name is Delberta. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, she it's could be. Been wait. a while. She'll be fine. They're feeding her probably. No. Oh. We. Uh, who put? I don't need. Oh, I don't know. The sea bottom again. Oh. oh wait, no, I do I need to go to the sea bottom actually. Didn't Dilberta get locked in there inadvertently for a cave-in? Is All that right, how it worked? Yeah. yeah, so Calamari nobody's running Bonanza. that prison. Calamari Bonanza, thank I, you. I don't even know what that is. I'm guessing it's like froze every octopus at least once each. <laughs> Didn't you already freeze that one? Nah, not that one. Oh, okay. Get that honeycomb. I wasn't going fast enough to get the honeycomb. I guess I gotta give up. Uh, Kazoo, oh. torpedo's a little hard to control, by oh, the way. Oh my god. <laughs> it, uh, oh. It's not the most precise thing. <laughs> I guess Banjo is just sitting there watching this. Yes. A banjo can be attacked during this, by the way. So it's good to <laughs> not do it while a bunch of enemies are around. Oh, that's not the right button. Banjo is invincible. Oh I no. I keep thinking the oh. trigger is oh. how you do it, but no, it's it's the A button to do it. What? Come on, I hit that. Can you click it again? To, yeah, okay, you can stop it. Hey, okay, hold down the A button to do the thing. Okay, because you kept going. I fought one Oh yeah, I just thought that would be fun. <laughs> okay. I understand. You know. If you swim back into Banjo, it ends. Alright, well, let's... Let's fuck this guy up. Get him. No? Oh. Blew up in two ways. There we go. There you go. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, you get that jingle. You get that buzz. Yeah. I love that jingle. How many jiggers have we gotten? Um, that's a good question. Five. Not bad. Okay, it feels like so much less. <laughs> yeah, I was like, honestly kind of thinking like, three? <laughs> We've been here a while. 
And these, the stages get big in this game. Just wait until, uh, level six. Hmm. That's this is the, the real one. four, yes, right? Four. Okay, how many are there in total? Eight. How many in total? Eight. Okay. Oh, we're halfway. I thought there was a guy in here, but I was mistaken. Like a guy to steal from, but it's just gold feathers. Okay. Should we go see Jolly? Yep, that was my plan. Going back to the town center. Gonna see Jolly, and then there's one more thing we need to do before I take a break from Jolly Rogers Lagoon. There she is. Yeah. Bile infested innards. <laughs> Look, he's, he's raising the roof. He's dancing. Yeah. Jigsaw pieces. Oh, what's on the table? Yeah served it to us. We're supposed to eat it. Just like in Banjo-Kazooie, where Kazooie eats every jigsaw piece. Yep. So this is not Kazooie the one more thing we need to do, but I think there's a uh, see-through fish in the water here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we haven't seen one. anything down here. Yep. The main thing we can't do yet, but we can grab that. Okay. Sort of. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, you can do this in first person as well if you really want to fuck up your oh, viewers. Oh, no. Oh, there's a thing you can hit. Yeah, there's also that. We'll, we'll go check that out after I get this page. Uh, did that just swim through a rock? It did. Okay. Yep, it, it went straight through. Okay, I thought that happened, but I wanted to be sure that it wasn't me just, like, losing my mind. <laughs> yep. What is there here? I don't even remember. Oh, it's this place. Oh, okay. I say like I know. Yeah, you totally, you totally know what that place that it said it is is. Yeah. So this is connected to three different levels. Uh, no, the other one was also Grunty Industries, the polluted okay. pipeline. So it's connected t two different ways to one level. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's a boy. Maybe. Oh. Getting a lot of the same color Jinjos in here. Hmm. Oh, we Which did means it. you get a Jiggy faster. Yeah. Like, we got the white Jinjo. Mm -hmm. It's always nice when the white Jinjo is early, because you get a free Jiggy. Yeah. I think that is a desired RNG state for speedruns, is to get the white Jinjo, like in Mayhem Temple. That makes sense. It's probably easier to unlock future levels. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let's do the one more thing that I need to do. It's important. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Show me what you got. We're going. We're going. It's something we swam past but couldn't actually do anything with yet at the time. Okay. Because we didn't have our torpedo power. Just one of the more commonly used abilities in this game, honestly. Yeah, and the second I realized that that's what you use to bust open all those underwater Kazooie rocks. Yeah. It... A lot of things made sense. Like why there's rocks with Kazooie's face on them? Yeah, mainly that. This is some kind of UFO. Yep. Yep, oh, it literally is some kind of UFO. Okay. Well, this is strange. Yeah. And then they reference Perfect Dark.
This was back when cell phones, like, weren't something that absolutely everyone has. Yeah. Alright. So there's, there's okay. a jerk in here. Oh, it's a jerk. Yeah. There it goes. Let's power up their ship. Oh, yeah, crystallized ice. So you put an ice egg in. Yeah. And there's a timer, which is why we're standing in the center. Okay. I like the wiggly skull grunty face as the timer. Yeah, it's a good timer. That being on hold left trigger and hit right on the D-pad is kind of bad. Because it's like, or not right on the D-pad, right on the analog stick. Because it's like, oh, I want to turn my camera while I'm crouched. Oops. There they go. There they go. Somewhere over a snowy mountain. Yeah. So will this unlock something in a future level? Yes. That's cool. That's why it was something I had to make sure I did our first visit here. I like how in Glitter Gulch you found a UFO that was actually just part of a circus attraction, and now you have found the actual UFO. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. We've been here for a while. We got a good number of jiggies out of it. I think I said circus attractment instead of circus attraction. I don't know what an attractment is. It's something that attracts, like an attraction. Yeah, it's... fair enough. I'm sure everyone understood what you said instead of what? That's not a word I know. <laughs> yeah, it, it just sunk in what I said myself to me. To the viewers. That was a level. 